there welcome back youtube so um i had some questions on my emulator or on my emulator on my macro recording um character fusion video and i just wanted to kind of explain how to make like your own macros in the new version of Nox. and the new version that i'm running is 6.2.7.1 if necessary um and i am using android 7 i don't know if that matters or not it shouldn't i think only the version but anyway um a lot of people were saying they can't like accelerate the macro like after you make one so you you can click here um actually i'm just gonna make a new macro just so you can see it so what you gotta do is you gotta click play right so record or f1 is a hotkey if you must so we're gonna click the little play button here and then you can see up here in the corner of Nox that it starts like script recording. So I'm just going to click anywhere on the screen just so that it saves it. Um, the main game that we usually do this for is Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. However, it's currently in maintenance now. So there's not really any point for me to run that game. Anyway, as you can see, I just made like a new macro. And I can edit the name of this macro here. And I'm just going to call this test macro. Um, so that's the test macro we're going to use. And click play to run the macro or just click on the screen um, wherever I clicked it. There's not really much going on here. And there's a cog wheel, cog wheel here, right? So you can click that cog wheel. You can set the loop however many times you want. Loop until the stop button is pressed. I like that one a lot, actually. And loop for however many minutes. That might be useful for like TMR farming or whatever you might want to do in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Um, and then there's acceleration here, so you can change the acceleration up to a maximum of 8. However, in the old versions of Nox, what you could do is you could actually save this with the acceleration. And then you can play it. And then re-record it again, right? So you can't really do that anymore. <laughs> but what you can do, I'm going to show you how to actually manually edit your um, macro accelerations. So there, and I will get into FFP chain as well after. It's a really great site for making macros for your game as well. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go to um, to do to do. I'm using a um, text editor called Sublime Text Three. Um, so you can get this at oh sorry, you can get the emulator here on BigNox.com. I was going to show you guys this too. This is the emulator that I'm using. Um, it's really great. Uh, it is really slow for Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, but overall it's a pretty solid emulator. Um, it's just fast and smooth. I highly doubt it. Um, it's not the best emulator, but it gets the job done. But the main thing here, I'll link it in the description. This is the text editor, editor I usually use for programming and coding um, a lot. It's basically a dev, um, a dev text editor. But for what I'm going to show you, it actually works really, really well for loading up the uh, records file for Nox. So I'll, put, I'll post that in the description. And what you can do here is this is my this is my file for all the uh, macros that I have in Nox. So in order to do this, what you got to do is you got to go to file. I'm um, sorry, go to file here and then open folder. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to open your path for your Knox Records um, folder. Uh, I won't be going over how to find that in this video thoroughly, but basically it's in your users, uh, your computer name, whatever that might be, app data, local Knox and record. You will need to show hidden folders to get there. And then what you can do is you can just select that folder and then it loads up basically a new window. I'll close the other one. And over on the left here, it shows the hierarchy for the folder. And you can see I have a whole bunch of messy macro names because that's what they were actually default named as. And I have some of them renamed. That was when I actually was trying to rename stuff. So I have one called Arena, one called Cact Fusing for Cactor Fusing, one called Slots 4 and 5. And these are the ones that I made myself. The ones that are unnamed usually came from FFP chain, honestly. But it's fine. Um, so the records file is where it actually keeps all the data for the Knox simulator macros, right? So for example, here, this little bracket here has my arena macro. So if I go over to Knox here, you can see, boom, arena. 
So that's the one that I use whenever I'm using, um, whenever I'm doing Arena in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. I'll just click play here and it shoots off all my characters at the same time. Usually for tornado chaining or even AR chains at this point. Um, it just, it just chains everything automatically, it clicks everything at the same time. What I did was I made it manually, like I click play here like I did for the test macro, I click on some stuff. And then I just manually sped it up. So I opened the records file here. And I found the name. So this name, to get your common, I don't know, I'm not really sure what combination is, but this name value here is going to be whatever is named in, in Knox player. So you find that. And then all you got to do is literally just change this accelerator value to whatever you need, need it to be. So where can I find the test macro? You can control F as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to control F test macro. The control F appears down here for this editor. And you can see that I have the test macro frame and I already set it to eight in Knox. And since we can't re-record things in Knox anymore, what we can do is we can just change this value to the speed that we want it to be. So I'm just going to say 256. Usually 128 is fine. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do 128. So change that to 128 and then your Knox macro has it set to 128. It won't like show it here, but when it runs, it will run at like that speed for sure. Um, so you change that and then I use control S as a key keybind just to save it right quick. And great, done. So um, in order to organize these macros a little better, what you can do is this is the file name, right? So all you gotta do is match this file name with what you have over here. So this one. Uh, it begins with a C and it ends with a four. So this this file name is the S macro that I did for YouTube. So I'm just gonna call that. Actually, I'm gonna call it a file name a sensible test underscore macro. Sorry, that was uh, that was a mistake there. But anyway, um, yeah, test macro. I I do underscores because I'm used to programming and stuff. And you can just rename the file over here and go test underscore macro. Boom, done. Um, so that should change it in your folder as well. And um, you should be good to go. Uh, so just for another example, um, what if I wanted to change something else like slots three, four, five, perfect. So I don't like the way I got five and six named up here either. I'll change that as well. So what I want to do here is just call this slots three underscore four underscore five. Boom, and then we'll rename I didn't catch the name of the file. It begins with D, ends with four. So that's this one right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna control Y that back. Uh, it is a free program. However, you will get a pop-up every now and then asking you to buy it. That's fine. I'm, I actually might buy it one of these days. I've been using it free for years and I've had no trouble with it. Um, so you should be fine. So I'm just gonna rename this to slots underscore three. Or sorry, slots three underscore four underscore five. Boom. So I have two renamed there. Um, and I don't like the way slots five and six is named. And I have this at eight accelerator. What I'll do is I'll change that to 128 as well. There you go, 128. And I'm also gonna find my slots. I <laughs> might as well just do all of them on YouTube while I'm here, just for more examples. So I have this name TMR underscore or TMR farm in Knox, so I'm going to change this to TMR underscore farm for my file. This begins with a B and ends with a four. As you can see, this begins with a B and ends with a five, so it's obviously the one underneath. I'm going to do TMR underscore farm. And then we'll rename this TMR underscore farm. Great. Um, yeah, that should be fine. And then, um, yeah, we'll just save that. So I'm just going to rename all of them while I'm here. There is one more thing that I want to show you. Um, I'll rename one more. I'll rename the one that I don't like that I have named. Um, See so yeah, how I have slots five comma six here. I'm just going to change this for consistency just to consistency to slots five underscore six. Perfect. And then we'll rename the file over here. Um, the file name and the um, reference and the records file needs to be exactly the same. So it starts off with file name and then you have your curly brackets. 
And you have all the data of that inside. This name is what appears in Big Knox. And this is the accelerator. You can change the other stuff too, but honestly, you don't really need to. So um, there is that you can also import uh, macros as well like this. But I won't get into that right now. I don't even know how importing works in, in Knox right now, honestly. But I know you can import somehow. Do, 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 do. Yeah, import. I don't even know what that would select. Yeah, I was looking for a script file. So maybe I can get into that another day. But um, basically what I also want to show you is in addition to downloading Sublime Text 3, you can also use FFB Chain. This is a great website. Absolutely amazing. Uh, made by Bismarck. Great guy. And what you can do is you can go to just Chain Tools here. You can type in whatever units you want. Um, just for example, off the top of my head, I'll do Transterra and maybe Transterra. So Transterra is in slot one and three. You want to chain it with Chaos Wave, right? Um, maybe, you know what? We're going to throw in Bahamut as well. So we're going to throw in your summon. So you'll throw in Bahamut, Mega Flare 1. That's fine. So you have unit one, unit two. That's the slots of the game, right? And then you go down here, click Find Best Modifier. And then I'll change this down here and you can see actually the timing as well. So like Trance Terra will be timed on these slots. The other Trance Terra timed on these slots down here. You have Bahamut just like kind of going off here in the middle. And this will literally perfect chain for you. And it even tells you the total chain modifiers and stuff. And you can even pick what emulator you're running. Like Mimu, LD Player, Nox. You can literally pick whatever you want. They just go Nox. And I have my Nox set on 720 times 1080. The new Nox do, does let you uh, do 720 times 1080 instead of 1280 from 720. I don't know why. I don't know. It's really weird. You can just copy that. And then you can just go over here. Go new file. Or actually before you can, you don't even need to do that at all. You can just go over here, click play. And then just click anywhere on the screen so it records a click. And then stop the recording. You can rename that to whatever you want. So like I could rename this to like bots one, three and two Bahama. You rename that. I'm probably going to delete that after, but this is just to make a point. And then we go over here to your record file and then it already updated. So we know that this is the name of our file. We can change it if we want to. You can change the acceleration, but I would never change the acceleration if you're copying something from F FFB chain. This already has the timings done for you. So like sends trans at 37 frames, 670, 617 milliseconds in. So um, I don't know what 37 frames stand for, but this is already done for you. If you go in here and look at the macro, the timings are like at the end of each, each thing here, but like, Everything's already done for you. You don't, you don't need to change that. Oh, wait, we have to copy it first, don't we? That was a bad example. You actually have to copy it in first. So like you can see here, um, there's a copy button. Go in, just uh, control A, control V, boom, done. I don't know why I was looking at that, but if you make a new macro with like random clicks and stuff, you, you, it will just like populate those clicks. You're actually gonna go to FFB chain, click copy, and then go back over here to Sublime, Control A, Control V, boom, done. Um, so Control A, Control V is like a shortcut. Like if I do Control A here right now, it'll highlight everything in the document. And then Control V will copy everything that you just got from that website, the FFB chain. Perfect. So yeah, if you if you just wanna like look at, um, if anyone didn't know, Control A highlights everything in the document. So like highlights everything in your current, like where, wherever your cursor is. So you can do it, even do it in Google, like um, or like anywhere you want, really. Like I could go over here to Google, or just like right here and go like type stuff, and then just go Control A here. Boom, done. Easy peasy. So yeah. Um, if you got any questions, let me know. I'm not used to doing these kind of videos at all. It's like my second tutorial video on YouTube ever. So uh, hopefully I can improve and get better at that. But um, yeah, uh, if, you, if you thought the video was helpful, let me know. 
Um, and I'll try and make like a little script next time to go by so I'm not just winging it. This is, honestly, this whole video was just winging it. But um, yeah, that's how you would accelerate things in the new Nox for creating whatever macros you want in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius or any other game you want for that matter. So yeah, that's cool. And um, yeah, thanks for thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys later on the next one. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Peace.